Are we witnessing the rise of a European defense industrial complex? The evidence suggests so. The European Commission, which is key in guiding strategy for the Union as a whole, is increasingly concerned with security and defense policy. With geopolitical tensions, rising global technological competition, and unreliable allies, the Union feels under threat. Meanwhile, the defense budgets of member states who have long resisted integration have been shrinking. To build military, security, and defense capacities that are more than the sum of its member states' parts, the Commission launched the 8 billion euro European Defense Fund, EDF, for the period of 2021 to 2027. It is the first time when EU money will be used for military industrial research and development purposes. While the Commission's effort to initiate greater defense integration through the EDF is reasonable, its reliance on consultation groups raises questions. Groups like the 2015 High-Level Group of Personalities on Defense Research, which brought together politicians, policymakers, experts, lobby groups, and industry CEOs, limit the diversity of voices in EU defense policymaking. Furthermore, the constant presence of these niche technical experts and industry representatives risk creating policies that are shaped too much by the industry with too little oversight. So far, little attention has been paid to the democratic accountability and parliamentary scrutiny of EU defense initiatives. But as the Union moves closer towards defense industrial integration, voices from outside the industry, including members of the European and national parliaments, civil society, and the broader European public will need to be heard if there is to be greater transparency, legitimacy, and public debate about the process. Without systematic coordination between the European Commission, the European Parliament, and national parliaments, the European defense market and industrial integration risk remaining an elite-driven and opaque process.